Hi, Hi. my name's Helen. And I'm Pat. <laughs> my, <This> name's... <laughs> my name is Pat, but it's really Helen. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Oh, oh good Pat. Lord. Um, and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. hello. <laughs> oh, God. I was all presentable. Um, and then we just felt like something out of the two Ronnies and that made us laugh. <laughs> so, <little> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're the little one. <laughs> I'm the big one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. I'll sit up straight now. Um, so this is just a short video because um, mum's here. A lot of you know I said on my last video, or the one before, I can't remember that mum was here for a few days because we had to go to um, my cousin's wife's funeral. Um, that was this week. And um, well, it'll be last week when this video comes out. And uh, it was a really, thank goodness it was a sunny day. Thank goodness we got there without any hindrance on the traffic and everything. Um, and it was a really lovely service, wasn't it? Yeah, The nice. celebrant got it just right. She got the tone of it just right. She obviously had done her homework. She knew something about the lady that had deceased and uh, she got the tone just right because there's mm. nothing worse when you go to a funeral mm. and the person leading the service didn't know that. Of course, they probably won't have known the person, but they should find out about the person. And, um, you know, that happened at my father-in-law's funeral. The, the, the priest that works, the vicar, said something that was so wrong, as in it wasn't like wrong naughty, but it was not true mm -hmm. of my mm. father-in-law. Mm. And you know what? That is the moment in the whole service that sticks out for all of us is when he said something about my father-in-law that wasn't accurate. And it's sad, really, because... Always, isn't it? You always remember the one thing that's wrong and, and not all the good bits, but you know, that's human nature. I'm the same with comments. I'll get a thousand lovely comments and I'll get one horrible comment. And naturally that's the one that your brain hooks on. It's just human nature. Anyway, so mum's here because of a funeral. Then I said, well, it's Mother's Day on Sunday, so why don't you stay over? Mm -hmm. And mum reluctantly agreed. <laughs> No, I'm enjoying myself. Don't Good, I'm glad you are. Know, that was I'm the just, idea. Yeah, um, mm. You know, and mum obviously spends a lot of time on her own. And at least when she's here, she sees Rob and Katie mm -hmm. and the kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and anyway. Dolly. Huh? And Dolly. And Dolly, yeah. Mum loves Dolly. Dolly loves mum. Um, so we went to West Quay yesterday and there was two reasons for doing that. My main purpose was for mum to get a new handbag because mm -hmm. her bag that she had had got damaged and um although mum was like it'll do it'll do it was a bit shabby and you know this is the woman who only wears cashmere and then says that'll do oh you notice we've got the same necklaces on from Meneer yeah, yeah. We... yeah I love mine <laughs> yes me too I put it on I didn't notice and then we went to sit down and I was going to take mine off and mum said well why because you know it just shows that any age can wear it and uh, they sit so nicely on your mm. neck Anyway, I digress as per usual. So we went into West Quay for two reasons. Like I say, for mum to get a new handbag and for us to do a little trial of how mum got on with her mobility. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. we're going to Ireland in June, doing a bit of a, a tour around Ireland to see some relatives um, and we wanted to gauge how mum would fare with her roll later. How long I could last, yeah. How well, far I could walk and how fast. Yeah, mum, mum's got a really kind of top of the range roll later, haven't you? Yes, it's called Let's Let's Go Out. Is it Let's yeah, Go Out or Let's Go? It, yeah. Anyway, let's yeah, it's go really, out. really yeah. like, you know, it was a lot of money. and um, But we can obviously only fit that or the wheelchair, uh, our wheelchair. We wouldn't take one with us. Mum doesn't have a wheelchair. She doesn't need a wheelchair. Um, not yet, thank goodness. It's and for convenience. <laughs> hey? A wheelchair for convenience. Yeah, it? wheelchairs for convenience and speed, really. So mm. we're not 100% decided, but I know mum is very reluctant to use a wheelchair, naturally enough, naturally enough. Um, although when we did the cruise in Norway, it was invaluable. Except for the bumpy cobbles. <laughs> and when my sister nearly let go of her at the top of a hill, but we'll gloss <laughs> over that one. And um, so anyway, 
Uh, yeah, but you did really well yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Very I tired at the end of it. So we went to West Quay and we went into, I just take something back to Marks and Spencers. And, um, but we had a quick look around there and then we went to John Lewis. Mum thought we'd get a handbag in John Lewis. No luck at all. I was very disappointed with the selection. You just wanted a black crossbody bag, play. didn't you? Yeah, not too heavy. Mm. Not one. There wasn't even one that you could well, consider. Not, not at my price but range. There wasn't, anyway. Even in the price range, there wasn't. I didn't bother to look at the No, the but there wasn't. I looked, I looked because yeah. I was going to chip in. But anyway, there wasn't anything. So then we said we'd go to Marks and Spencer's. And it, it was dire, wasn't it? Absolutely dire. Mm. And also, they moved them right away from the shoes and accessories and they were over by the lifts. Yeah. So we were wandering I around think, trying to find the handbag. I think the fact that they had such a small selection that they, they'd kind of eased them out or something, you know. Well, it was pathetic. They weren't making a feature of it, were it they? It was pathetic. I, I suppose yeah. what it is, I mean, certainly when I worked at Heathrow, there was a thing called category management. And that basically means that every square foot of retail space has to earn its living. And if they don't get the turnover of that particular product, they can't afford to stock it on the shop floor. So there's probably more online, to be fair. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was very disappointing. So I said, oh, let's dive down to Hedge End, um, where there is a big TK Maxx, and have a look there. So I've just got to quickly run through what I bought and what Mum bought. And... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all right, what were on. you going to say? No, no. You were going to say something. <laughs> we'll leave out the supermarket then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave out the supermarket, yeah. So, um, first of all, you know, I bought um, Billy and Hattie, who you're more familiar with. Uh, they've been on the channel a few times. I bought them the um, swimming stuff for, for Easter. And then I needed to get my two little grandsons, who are three and not yet one, something so um we didn't They're like nice. anything in marks and spencers but i got these lovely little mm. t-shirts in um john lewis and they were three for 16 pounds it's very, it's very good because they're I lovely quality lovely, yeah. yeah nice nice weight oh, yeah nice. and mm. perfect for him mm -hmm. um for you know every day mm. they, they're kind of dinosaur themed so I always worry, you know, when you get white with blue, I always worry about that white getting discoloured, but, mm. you know, it yeah, is what well. it is. But these are the kind of, he wears this kind of colour an awful lot because he's... Um, blonde. Got to, no, he's not blonde, is he? He's dark. Tiago. Oh, Tiago, there, Tiago. Um, he's oh, uh, was... got dark hair and, oh, yeah. and dark skin. Oh, this is Tiago's so And, uh, yeah. Huh? I thought they were big. Huh? <laughs> they they would be big for a, a nine-month-old. I thought they were babies. And then yeah. I got yeah. um, Sebastian, who is um, one in May. Got him these two gorgeous little sweatshirts. Oh, they've got, have they got buttons on the sleeve? Yeah, buttons oh, on the oh, shoulders. And they they were two for £13. Mm -hmm. And I thought they weren't bad at all, actually. No, they're, they're heavier. They're, right? they're more of a yeah. sweatshirt. They're a feel. sweatshirt, yeah. Yeah. And he wears a lot of, like, um, Just right leggings this time type of the year. Thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. And um, well, so he's very blonde with blue, he blue hair, <laughs> blue eyes and fair skin. Mm -hmm. So that's them. And then, so that was all I bought um, in in West Quay. And then we went down to TK Maxx and um, I know this is so exciting. I bought this little umbrella to keep in the car because okay. annoyingly, mm -hmm. we went up to see my brother-in-law last week and um, in London, really? central London. And I left my umbrella at his house because it was pouring with rain, so I put it mm. inside the door. So annoying when that happens. Even more annoying is that I got a speeding ticket. I got a speeding ticket for doing 24 in a 20 mile an hour zone. I can't believe it really. It could oh. be worse. Yeah, it could be worse, Mum. Mm -hmm. But it's annoying. Because um, it was kind of like an errand we were doing. And so anyway, whatever. I have to swallow it all the times so I didn't get caught speeding. And um, and then I just got these very cute little um, baking cupcake cases. You can either bake in them or you can use them as they call them snack cups. It's an awful lot, isn't there? That There's uh, 50. How much was that? 3 99 Gosh, that's when you see what a few costs. Yeah. Aren't they lovely? Really and the cool. thing is, 
Th these ones mm. have got bunnies on, but these mm. ones you could use any time. Yeah, you know, just any. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't care. I'd use any of them yeah. through the summer. But they do kind of up the game when yeah. you um, do cupcakes. It's massive for that price. Yeah, it's fifty for four mm. pound. I mean, that's not much different to just normal fairy cake cases, is yeah. it really? Oh no. So. Yeah, so that was me. Oh, and then really weirdly, as we came down in the lift in West Key, didn't we? We walked mm. out. Mm. We'd never used those lifts. They weren't even where my car was parked. But I said, oh, let's just go down and we'll walk across to the car. We came out of the lift and bumped straight into my sister-in-law and her chap. And um, <laughs> you, couldn't have, you couldn't have planned that to me. I mean, you couldn't have planned it. Anyway, so that was me. Not very exciting. Now yeah. I'll hand over to my able assistant. Yeah. Pat. Even more or less exciting. Even more or less exciting. <laughs> yeah. Even more or less exciting. Yeah. Well, they yeah, are. Start. Where are you going to start? Start with Marks and Spencers. Start, start with the lower work up. Well, that's where we okay. started shopping. Well, OK. It? Well, we were wandering to m and and uh, I think I've probably said before, I like sea salt, and I saw these, which is their regular thing. It's just a, a T-shirt. It's a nice, actually, I don't know if it comes up on camera, but it's a kind of a nice mauve. And well, you like them because they've got, got... They're nicely cut. And they've got a nice boat neck. And they, they last forever. Yeah. And three quarters And sleeves. this is very similar, you know, with the mauve and the pink. Yeah, it's got the same yeah. colour. But the good thing about... I think they've always done this since I, I first knew them. And uh, you get two for £45, whereas what one on its own is uh, nearly £30. So actually one's practically half price there. So. So they last me for a long while. And then... Uh, That's all again? we got in Oh, that was West it all. Key. That was, was M&S, yeah. And then... Um, we went down we to went, Hedge End. We went down to Hedge End. No, no, we didn't yeah, go to Hedge End. Yeah, Hedge End. Didn't we do no, this first? That was Hedge End. Oh, TK Max. Oh, that was TK Max. In Hedge oh, End. Yes, of course it was, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a boy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I got my... Uh, oh, well, I saved, saved that to last because it's the best. <laughs> And so I saw this as we walked in the door, and I've been uh, using the same sponge Hold bag for ages. Oh, sorry. <laughs> using the same sponge bag for years. Actually, it's, I just grabbed it, but it's and now I feel it, which I've not bothered before. It's very good and solid. That lasts a long while. How much was that? Um, <clears throat> Eight pounds, seven ninety nine. It's lovely yeah, colour, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it's good quality, it's yeah. It's nice and spacious, and you yeah. can stand bottles up yeah. in there. And then I, I grabbed, as we went by, uh, <laughs> just some more socks, but these are really good because they haven't got elastic at the top, although they've got a grip, and so you don't get that awful mark around your ankles. And they're made from bamboo. Yeah, bamboo, yeah. And I usually wear black, except in the summer when I wear white, of course. Yeah, so that's now just a useful thing, and it's even more useful. I must have more of these at home. I think about it, but I'm just walking by, and I picked up the old. Uh, these are amazing, aren't they? My cleaner uses them wet and dry. I don't quite know what she does, but she you always... have one damp and one dry. Yeah, well that's what she does, and then yeah. when she's finished, she chucks them in the washing machine for me to wash ready for next time. Yeah, so. They're the best invention yeah. ever. Yeah, they, they are. Because they polish and clean and yeah, everything. Yeah, don't don't, they? they're antibacterial. You don't need to use any um, yeah. any polish or anything. And these with are really them. big ones, actually. And they, yeah, were, they're I mean, nice. they were cheap, weren't they? They were a pound each, yeah. actually. Three yeah, for two ninety nine. Yeah, they're lovely. Nice they? bright colours, too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're going <clears> to have to do it, you might as well do it cheerfully. Yeah. So, so that's that. And then, and then we have pièce de résistance. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of French at school. <laughs> my Spanish loud, you know. Huh? <laughs> my Spanish. <laughs> Mum has been doing Duolingo for how many days? About 1,450 something. Every day, Mum does Duolingo. Mom is, including Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And like cleaning my teeth. <laughs> and before now, you've said, oh, hang on, I can't do anything. I've just got to do another one because I'm falling down the leaderboard. <laughs> so. Well, that's in the leagues. I'm in the one of the lower. I was in the top league and I've dropped. But oh, mum. The most people now. wouldn't be doing what you're doing, yeah, so well, I, especially I, not at your age. Well, I, I only do it to keep myself. <laughs> uh, uh, I won't say 
Oh, how would you say? I don't know. No, I'm not Gargar gar, gar yet. Basically, put it that way. Oh, no, She's not Gargar. Gar. And thing. you probably worked that out for yourself before yeah. Mum told you, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, so what were point. you looking for in a well, bag? Well, I had, I had bought, um, how long ago? A long time. You, Helen persuaded me to buy a very nice bag in Je John Lewis. Yeah. Uh, some years ago. And unfortunately, there was a little mishap. I was with my another daughter, and um, it was quite new at the time. <laughs> and um, I was wanted to polish a brass memorial plaque, and uh, I had a. It was uh, Dad's brass memorial well, plaque, right, not I just know, a random well, one. Right. And it had, uh, <laughs> I took my bottle of brass there with me, and my daughter opened it and didn't realise because she'd never seen brass there before. Since then, I bought the the um, wadding one because it won't happen again and she squirted it all a lot of it all over my black bag <clears throat> and despite everything I've tried I've never been able to get it back to proper black in parts so it looked a bit odd but it didn't bother me but it bothered everybody else so anyway and I had to have a lightweight one because uh, I carry it over my shoulder and I, I'm so slow anyway I don't think to uh, bog me down any further so we went looking for the bag and we couldn't find anything and then uh we went in tk maps with helen and uh, actually now i look i haven't looked at it properly before i've been saving it for the camera and um oh, it's got quite a lot i'm gonna bring yeah, it up no. now so so it's just a simple black bag but the good thing is oh it's even better there's a, there's a pocket on both sides with the zip it's leather that's the thing i did more plastic and unfortunately, most leather bags are quite heavy, but this isn't. So anyway. It's nicely made because it's yes, got it this, this yeah. kind of got zip pocket here yeah. with the yeah. nice finish. Mm. Yeah. It's got just an inserted pocket here. Mm -hmm. And a zip in the middle too. Another, another pocket in the middle with a zip. And then I think there's another one at the side. And then you've there? got an open pocket this side. Yeah. 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 And then another zip pocket there. Yeah. You know what you're going to be doing all the time. Yeah. I don't know which zip pockets. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I do. I get a routine of where yeah. I'm going to put each. But the thing about that, that was only what? It was so cheap. £30. £29.99. Yeah, 29 And RRP was about 80 wasn't it? 89 <laughs> Yeah. So there we go. It's a Lloyd Baker <laughs> bag and they are good yeah. bags. Yeah. You know, they're a known I, brand. I look at it, yeah. And the other thing was important, it had to be able to accommodate mum's um, disabled parking no, badge. blue badge, as was, they call it. Yeah. That was the kind of... Yeah, it's quite big and square, so I needed something oh, like that. Oh, Billy's just come round. Oh, Hello, love. we've got a visitor. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my exciting... So, the next, that's the next job <laughs> is for We'll decant... <clears> um, <throat> Yeah, it's actually really nice because yeah. the thing is, often when you're getting um, a, a lower price bag, they, mm. they're really yeah. just yeah, yeah. a bit well, nasty. Plastic. Or else, Compared like that was that. one that was nearly okay, but had a great big mm. like silver yeah, chromey chrome logo on thing on mm. it, and Mum didn't like that at all. No, so, um, no, I think this is um, yeah, a yeah. good result, actually. Yeah, so, that's your exciting Saturday for you. That's your exciting. Well, this won't be going out on Saturday, so... <laughs> But it's got a really good long... I, I have a thing, I mean, I, you know, I would actually... This bag is a good one because, for mm. me, I like them to be really low mm. on my hip. Mm. And this this could be really low mm. Mm. because I don't like them up here. Yeah. Um. So well, it's really... excellent all around. Yeah, I thought it was really worth coming for. <laughs> yeah, so we've got that ticked off the list. Yeah. Um, so, and then yeah. we've got... Um, oh, I'm making fish pie for dinner tonight. Because, mm -hmm. um, God, isn't fish expensive? Mm. We were saying, weren't we? Some of the fish, Billy, you could just, uh, Billy's trying to crawl across the floor. Billy, <laughs> camera's so low they can see you. Can we just say hello? Stand up. Look how tall he's getting. What are you now? Five foot four. C W. <laughs> Don't say your name. That's two inches taller than me. <laughs> yeah. Right, love, we won't be long. Um, <laughs> And um, so I've got fish. Yeah, I'm saying mm. it was £19.50 a kilo for the fish pie mix. So I just bought fish. And um, and then tomorrow I'm doing gammon for our Mother's Day lunch. 
and Casey will be here and Hattie will be here. And I thought we must get a photograph because that's four generations. Yeah, quite true. And you know, we're lucky to be able to do that. So mm -hmm. I think it's quite important that okay. we do that. And um, yeah, so the, it was lovely this morning and now it's started raining again, but hopefully that will clear. We're going to pop into the hive and get a couple of bits there and mm -hmm. uh, yeah and then just have a relaxing day really oh we started watching just quickly oh. for those of you who've got netflix we started watching Anne with an e Anne with an e which is based on Anne of green gables oh. da my daughter started watching it and loved it and mm -hmm. we're really loving it aren't we yeah, and mum's got netflix at home which is nice so what yeah. she doesn't see here she can carry on with at home because mm -hmm. there's nothing worse is there than seeing a bit mm -hmm. of a series mm -hmm. and then you can't watch it on your own mm -hmm. so um yeah so that's that was it i just know a lot of you wanted to see mum mm -hmm. um yeah have you got anything exciting happening <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> the gas man had been gone <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, my daughter, my middle daughter is in um, Austin in Texas at a, a conference. She's there for work. My son is in Stuttgart in Germany. He's there for work. So I've only got the one child home this weekend for Mother's Day. Um, but, you know, that's life, isn't it? We've grown up kids. But um, I hope this will be, I know I'm saying about tomorrow, but this will be going out on Monday. So I hope you've all had a lovely Mother's Day. And I'm sorry for all of those of you who don't have your mums around. I know how blessed I am. And um, I'm trying to make the most of it. So um, have a good week. And I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.